Good afternoon, I'm Melissa. And I'm Evan with another edition of HTV News. Attention, all HHS students follow Hobart High School on Twitter at Hobart HS to get the latest news, guidance updates, and much more. Seniors, the scho local scholarship book is now available. It contains the criteria and applications for many local awards in a variety of areas, including college and career. It can be accessed online on MyBook campus or a paper copy can be picked up in guidance. The deadline to complete is January 30th. See Mrs. Adams in the guidance office with questions. On Saturday, February 7th from 12 to 3 p.m. in the Great Hall, the prom committee will host the first annual Hobart High School prom fashion show and silent auction. All proceeds from this event will found, fund the 2015 prom. Local dress shops, hair salons, and vendors will take part in our event. Dresses will be available for purchase at all price points and sizes. There will be raffles for hair salons and nail salons, and makeup to make prom more affordable. Admission is $5 per adult, three for high school students, and for students younger than high school are free. There is a dollar fee for a paddle in the bidding auction. The after school tutoring program did not take place this week. It will start up again Monday. If you're interested in participating, you must sign up in the main office. Don't miss out on this opportunity to get some help if you need it. See Mr. Martinson in the office if you have any questions. Just a reminder, the Media Center does not sell coffee to students between classes. We sell until 7.30 a.m. during lunch schedules to students at lunch only, immediately after school. And now over to Aaron for a look at the upcoming weather forecast. Aaron, what's our weather look like for this week? Well, don't put away your gloves and hat just yet. We're in for some colder weather coming our way. Monday will be 31 degrees with a low of 26 at night. Tuesday will be 33 degrees and sunny with a low of 18. Wednesday, we will have a little snow and rain that will be 38 degrees with a low of 21. Thursday will be at 25 degrees with a low of 6, and Friday will be 18 degrees. Back to Larissa in the newsroom right after this. If you're interested in computers or like computers at all, here are two computer technology classes that are offered here at Holbert. The first one I want to talk about is web design. It's just like the title sounds. You're designing websites. Everybody visits websites each and every day. And how are those websites designed? How do you actually create those websites? So in this class, there are so many images on websites. And we are going to talk about how to edit, enhance, and combine images so we can put them on websites. After learning about that, we're going to be able to take and design websites themselves to where we can actually put them on the web. Websites that are visually appealing and useful for the internet. The other computer technology class that is offered here is called CAD, or Computer Aided Drawing. Everything that you see around you is designed, and in the process of designing in today's society, we now draw everything on the computer. In this class, you will learn a computer drawing software and learn how to draw and design anything and everything you see. At the end of taking this class, you will earn a computer-aided drawing certification that will be sought after by employers and colleges. If either of these classes sound interesting to you, CAD or web design, or if you're interested in computer technology or computers at all, sign up for CAD or computer-aided drawing or web design with your guidance counselor. Thanks, Aaron. Looking ahead to next week's lunch menu. On Monday, you can choose between a uh, mini corn dog, ham and cheese grinders, crispy cubes, and for Tuesday, you have the options to choose between chicken patty on a bun, bricky rib, and crinkle fries. Lunch on Wednesday is chicken and noodles or Big Daddy pizza. Thursday, you have the choice of walking taco and four alarm chicken to end the week. On Friday, we will have Bosco sticks with marinara sauce or buffalo chicken wrap. For all athletes who are not currently in a winter sport, track and field held a call-out meeting on Wednesday after school. Athletes who are currently involved in winter sports or missed the open call-out, please take some time during the day to let Coach Arthur Holtz know if you are interested in being part of the track program. Track conditioning will take place Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. The annual student faculty basketball game will be Thursday, February 5th. Doors open at 6.30, the game starts at 7. Seniors wishing to play can sign up in the guidance office.